In the early 90s, a cluster of very serious illnesses occurred in Cleveland, Ohio. Several infants developed sudden bleeding in their lungs. And when scientists investigated more, they realized that most of these infants lived in water-damaged homes with heavy mold. And so they linked the disease that was affecting these infants to that mold, and the story spread quickly. And that's how toxic black mold entered public conversation in a very dramatic way. Because in another city, other infants also presented with this same bleeding in the lungs, but there was no trace of mold for these children. Irrespective of that, everybody already knew about black mold and they decided to believe whatever they wanted to believe. But the bottom line is black mold is bad. It doesn't matter if it caused the bleeding for the first infants or not. Black mold still causes a lot of problems with respiratory infections, especially when it's found in damp places in schools or houses. So if you have any sort of humidity or dampness where you live, do not wait for anybody to tell you whether or not to take action and protect your children no matter what. 